What's up guys, Jason's here. Today, we're gonna introduce you how to configure DDNS on S-Series PBX. First thing first, let's spare some time to figure out the function of DDNS, Dynamic Domain Name System. In most cases, PBX will be deployed in the local area network in this way if we want to have it access the internet. And PBX is connected to the router which is connected to the internet cable. If our ISP only provides us with the dynamic IP address, the remote extensions or other devices couldn't keep the connection with our PBX. To ensure a successful remote connection with our PBX, we need to set up a dynamic DNS service. Dynamic DNS keeps track of the dynamic IP address, so the remote extensions or other devices can be able to access the PBX even if the public IP address is changing from time to time. Enough talk, let's jump in and check it out. Usually we can configure DDNS on the router directly. If DDNS isn't supported on the router, we can configure it on the PBX as well. Log in to the PBX, go to Settings, Network, and we can find it here. Click to enable the service, Choose a DDNS server from which we've applied for the service. In the list, we can see all servers supported by Azure's PBX. And fill in the username and the password, as well as the domain name offered by the DDNS provider. Taking this DDNS provider as an example, these are information offered. Now, we simply need to fill in all blanks correctly. Choose the server. Enter the username and password, and don't forget the domain name. Save and apply all the configurations. Now, as we can see, it is running. Tips! Mind that to allow remote devices communicating with the PBX by the domain name. We also need to forward the port on the router and set NAT on the PBX. For more details about the settings, please check the linked online document down here in the description. Now, let's see how we can apply the domain name. Say we want to have another remote PBX connected to this PBX via the internet by SIP trunking. We can log in to the other PBX, create a peer trunk, and enter the domain name as well as the forwarded SIP port right here. Here's the required information of our PBX. Fill in these blanks with the information correctly. Alright, that was actually how we configure DDNS on the S-Series PBX. For more information, check the link down below here, get our online document. And of course guys, don't forget to subscribe us. I will see you in the next one.